I'm Paul Wolford, design principal with HOK, working with Wilson Meany on the Bay Meadow Station's mixed-use blocks 1 through 5. We see a profound change in the way the market is expecting new space. And what was accepted even a few years ago or a generation ago isn't what people are looking for today, especially not the new generation of workers. What had been the accepted as the norm, which was essentially a simple rectangular building with a center core with a perimeter donut of workspaces, isn't what these folks are looking for. What they're looking for are high-performing spaces which allow incredible flexibility in their workplace, which allow them great opportunities for control and thermal comfort, and which allow them environments that they can actually reinvent their businesses and the way they work. Working with the Wilson Meany team, we look carefully at the aspirations of this new workforce and what it would mean for the built environment at Bay Meadow Stations. We took universal themes in terms of flexibility, high performance workplace, and highly sustainable environments and we, look, we looked at how we could apply those to every single station block. So while the buildings are unique and individual, those themes are constant. How the station blocks respond to those market pressures and demands were evidenced in the way that we configured the, the floor plate. For example, instead of individual floor plates that are approximately 25 to 30,000 square feet, which are prevalent in the market both in San Francisco and even down in Silicon Valley in the peninsula, what we did is, is we actually created two of these floor plates which intersect and conjoin to create a floor plate that's up to 60,000 square feet, but that can be easily subdivided into two 25 to 30,000 square foot floor plates. We look for taller floor-to-floor -floor ceilings, and so, like what one would expect in a south of market brick timber and concrete environment where you have a large, open, uninterrupted floor plate and space with a high floor to floor, we were able to achieve that in this new construction. We did that by using a flat slab concrete system which expresses the structure. So when you're in this environment and you walk in, you're actually going to see nearly 12 feet open between the floor and the underside of the slab above you. And what that means is, is we were able to bring daylight deep into these spaces. So instead of just having daylight at a perimeter, which might be held by someone who happens to have an office close by, we're able to project daylight deep into the space, in some cases 30 to 60 feet into these spaces, meaning everyone's going to have the ability for this natural daylighting to imbue their workplace with a sense of the outdoors. One of the things that the new workforce is looking for is the ability to live, work, play, and stay in an environment that's all mixed up together. That's one of the geniuses of this project. It really is. The ability to ride your bicycle from the mission over to anywhere in San Francisco is one of the reasons why so many of the high-tech companies are opening up environments in the city. To be able to ride your bike to Caltrain get on Caltrain, get off, and either walk or ride your bike right into your building or around the park in Bay Meadows stations makes it almost the equivalent of South Park here in San Francisco. So that mixed-use, multimodal environment being adjacent to the Caltrain stations differentiates this project from virtually every single thing in the marketplace in the peninsula and what's under consideration in Silicon Valley today. There are many ways in which we evaluate and judge architecture and the built environment. People do this with how often the work is published sometimes or how many awards it's won. But to me as an architect, the greatest accolade isn't any of those things. The greatest accolade is if you were to ask the people that work and live in that place, if it were gone, would they miss it? because no one ever lies about that. So, if Bay Meadows were gone in 20 years, 25 years or 50 years, would people miss it? I think the answer is yes. They're gonna love this.